Shalom Israel. Shalom. Well, hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. And salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goeth. Um, yeah, hey, this is major big, okay? I'm naming this uh, Rejoice Ye Heavens. Because obviously uh, the elder apostle brought out this um, video yesterday, uh, based on and all, a lot of the other brothers have brought this also a video out. And I I must say something now. We warned the house of Israel. We warned the children of Israel the whole time. Hey y'all, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Um, because it is time. Now these people, uh, the, this devil Esau, Edom. The Caucasian race, the, the uh, rulers of this wicked world, the, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. We've been out here proclaiming this word for quite a while. Now, um, the Lord is bringing forth the judgment. Everything um, that we spoke about is coming to pass now. Uh, so this is the book of, just quickly, this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord, said Yehovah Shimei Shai. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Now, um, that scripture it's warning the children of Israel that hey, you are my chosen people. All in a all in a very small nutshell, you are my chosen people. I'm watching this earth. The el the apostles, the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and all the other brothers under that same banner has been proclaiming to you for, for a very long time that you are my chosen people. That you went into slavery, um, but at this time when you hear these words, you should repent until the Lord your God. Okay. With all your heart, with all your soul, and come back to the Lord. Because you sinned against them by uh, following after the heathen and worshiping their gods. That's basically what the what the message has been. Um, and we've been out there, man. We really have. I, I think back in some of my videos. And what does it say? You so-called. I say, we've been lied to, man. You so-called Native American Indians. You so-called blacks. You Negro. And you Hispanic people. We are the Lord's chosen people. You know, uh, early on in the, in, in the ministry, all my all of my epistles, all my uh, videos when I'm on the, out there on the highways and head just would start like that. <clears throat> and I will continue saying that, streaming it at the top of my lungs throughout the whole thing. But what? As it's written, no one hearkened. You know? Uh, but the time has come. Because uh, as the, as the, if you type in, if you go to Google and type in... Um, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, or Blacks, uh, his, uh, Latinos, and Native American Indians. I I just did that, and I wanted to use those as my screenshots, but um, I just don't have the software right now, to, to, so you can actually read it and, and read it with me and see all the things that they're saying. But there's not just one; there's several articles that come up with the Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians in the title saying one thing or another against us being the Lord's chosen people but we're grouped together oddly in this great melting pot right you don't think that's strange well you know what <clears throat> the time has come the Lord says judgment must begin at the house of Israel and if it first began with us where are the where are the uh, ungodly and the sinners appear man okay so that's what's happening right now these because these devils are about to come into the neighborhoods and they've already proclaimed they're going to be going in the house for house to house. They've already set up the concentration camps. They're going to separate families. They're going to try to make y'all take the vaccine or the mark of the beast. And what did the Lord say? He will protect us from these plagues. Uh, he said, nothing will come, will come near thee. The ones that have repented and come back to the 
on the, to the to the understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, you know, for protection, they trust in the Lord. And we were trying to get all the other children of Israel to do the same, but we do know that it's uh, based on, um, you know, the grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, who uh, the ones that He has called and also chosen. Okay, but nevertheless, all Israel will be okay. Hey, let's get into some scriptures, man, because I, I don't, I definitely want, didn't want to make this super long. But if y'all type in uh, blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, uh, I'm basing this whole um, epistle off of this this uh, this search that I did on Google. It says uh, health issues for blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians may cause coronavirus to ravage communities. Okay, and it goes on to say. Uh, Washington from Washington has got Donald Trump on the cover blacks Latinos and never American Indians have many underlying health conditions including asthma and heart diseases that could make them more to complications from the coronavirus leaving advocates lawmakers and public health experts worried these long uh, marangled communities mar uh, so lucky, marginal not marginal not marginalized communities won't get equal access to tests and treatment as the outbreak spreads okay the virus is equal opportunity crisis but the impact of the burden of it is not going to be shared equally so therefore they're letting you know one more time that they don't care about you so-called blacks Native American Indians and Hispanics because they're actually separating you from this so-called melting pot America the Great because it, uh, and this has always been but now just like uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3 uh, the son of perdition that man of sin will be revealed in this time and he's showing his, he's showing his, all his true colors because um, well I thought we were all equal I thought we were all one so then why are right here in second paragraph the, the virus is, is, <clears throat> is an equal opportunity crisis but the impact of the burden of it is not going to be shared equally right right because what because they're saying the communities won't get equal access to tests and treatments as the outbreak spreads wow well there you go and you know why that is let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 25 verse 25 let's start at 23 and the Lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb so two nations are in the womb of Isaac's wife, Rebecca. Okay? Who are those two nations? The two nations are Esau, Edom, which is the Caucasian race, and the nation of Israel, which is Jacob. Okay? And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. One people will be stronger than the others. That's Jacob. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder came out, that's Esau. So he's supposed to, he is our slave. The Lord set this up for him to be our slave. And he doesn't like this. Okay? And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. He came out red all over. So the Caucasian people, they're not white. They're actually red because their blood shows through their skin. Okay? Esau, Edom. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she buried him. Okay? So Jacob came out second. Esau is going to serve Jacob. Let's fast forward to Gen uh, Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. Genesis chapter 27, verse 41. And Esau and Jacob, and, of Salaki, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessings wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob so Jacob received the birth rights from um, from his father Isaac from their father Isaac and Esau hated that and what did, he, what did Esau just say and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessings wherewith his father blessed him and Esau 
said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that day has arrived, brothers and sisters. Now that's because of the blessings. Let's fast forward to the book of Romans. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. this time, brother and sister, hopefully this won't be too long. This is the book of Romans. We're going to start at Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Now, this is this is our brother Paul. He was also uh, from the tribe of Benjamin. Uh, uh, he's he is an Israelite. Okay, that I'm that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Hashem Shai for my brethren, because we're his brother, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, according to the flesh. Nobody can get into this. Um, nobody can take part in our heritage if they're not from the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, so all these other nations do not need apply, man. This is only for the children of Israel. This Bible is our heritage, as we've been spent. We're proclaiming these words. Salvation is only for the children of Israel. Okay, who is the Lord's chosen people? Written of in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. It's this is verse four. Who are Israelites? So, for I could wish that myself were a curse from, from Yahweh Hashem and Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of Yahweh Hashem and Shai, and the promises. So the children of Israelites, so, so the children of the Lord, who are Israelites, get everything, man. Whose are the fathers, and, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. So the Lord actually came back for the children of Israel only. He died on the cross for the children of Israel. So once again, you other nations need not apply to what the scriptures are saying, okay? Because they're only for the children of Israel. Y'all go serve your own false gods and false idols, but don't try to drag the children of Israel into it as you have done with this false god and false idol so-called named Jesus Christ, okay? Because you don't go along with what the scriptures say. You cast the words behind you. Okay, and you, children of Israel out there, that still run up on, in these churches. The Lord's gonna get you, man. That's why I read Amos chapter nine verse eight first. You still calling yourself blacks? You don't want to uh, come back to your heritage, and, and 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 repent to the Lord with all your heart, and understand that hey, this is the Lord's plan. You can't do nothing about it, man. The Lord said, hey, He made some for the vessels of wrath, and some for the vessels of mercy, and that would be us, the children of Israel, Jacob. This is verse 5. Whose are the fathers and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came, who is over all, God bless forever. Amen. Okay? So, that, once again, that the Lord came and died for the children of Israel. Let's, let's continue on to uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Rejoice in hope, patience, and tribulations, concerning instant, continuing in instant prayer. Okay? Disturbing to the necessity of saints. Wait, Salaki, y'all. We're supposed to be reading uh, Rome, um, Re Revelations. Salaki, I'm, I'm, I am moving a little fast. Revelations, chapter 12, verse 12. And the, the point of the whole uh, epistle here. It says, therefore, rejoice. After all the, all the things I just read. Okay. Um, hopefully, if you never heard this, you, you might get a little understanding that these are good times, even though they seem like sad times. It's going to be it's the pain of the Lord bringing the sword upon Israel. You know, we just, we're, pay, we're uh, praying for mercy uh, for the 144 hopeful elect and the one third of Israel. But the Lord said, don't pray for the two thirds because they, they had their chances to repent and they, it, it's just not their lot. Uh, but in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. And this is what's going on right now. Uh, Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed Caucasian race, 
know that he have but a short, short time for his kingdom because his kingdom is about to crash and fall and burn that's what's happening to it right now the Lord is about to come back and overthrow him and put the children of Israel up on high man his chosen people and the Caucasian people they don't like that man they don't want to be uh, be our slaves man that's what's gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven and God willing I'll be bringing out another epistle this afternoon uh, going more in detail about that this is the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 17 after all said and done man after all these things that he's gonna come and do to the children of Israel okay it's it, you know the Lord has already declared the end the end from the beginning so all these things are already set in stone after everything this devil is gonna come down with great wrath to the children of Israel and try to drag you off into concentration camps try to separate your family try to give you the coronavirus do not take the mark of the beast which is the RFID chip if y'all can if anybody's out there can hear my voice that's what it's gonna boil down to This is the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 16 they shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them they shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols that's right the makers of idols these false gods and false idols that y'all pray to these false proclaim uh, this this uh, so-called Jesus Christ who's not a God that's the Caucasian racist God because in the book of Revelations it tells you exactly what the Lord what the, what the true Messiah looked like but y'all continue to go on and go to church and worship with this man these heathens which also the scriptures say don't do that okay this is the uh, so this is verse 17 but Israel shall be saved in Yahweh Shai with an everlasting salvation ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end that's why the Lord said rejoice ye heavens because um, the devil is going to come down on us knowing that he has but a short time but after all these things we're going to wake up in the kingdom of heaven man okay and everything will be put back in order the Lord will be with us um, it's going to be beautiful man no more hell on earth for the children of Israel all the other nations will serve us as they were made too, because the Lord said he made the world for our sakes Esau and Edom will be our slaves for a thousand years then the Lord is going to eradicate him off the face of the earth because he's just a devil he's a, he's a liar and a, and a destroyer that's what he was made to do okay so hopefully this was edifying if you're out there you can still hear these words uh, this will be a good time to repent before all hell breaks loose I hope this lesson was edifying and um, you know get ready y'all to see some things as the Lord has proclaimed through these uh, words through these the, through the Holy Bible the Holy Bible that we have here uh, and once again I want to uh, give thanks to the Lord for opening up our eyes so that we can see these things okay blessed are your eyes to see so we're gonna close it out all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakadash I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for breaking out the 100% truth. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goeth. Shalom, Israel. More evidence is coming to light showing African Americans have been particularly hard hit by the COVID-19 outbreak in the United States. In Chicago, African Americans are dying at a rate six times greater than white residents. On Tuesday, Lori Lightfoot, Chicago's first female African American mayor, spoke out against the racial disparity. We must understand the magnitude of the impact of this virus on all of our communities, and it is up to the health care providers who are on the front lines not to skip over the boxes that provide us with the demographic information that's essential for us to understand the impact on black and brown communities. You must do this, and we will order it to happen.